Hey everyone, it's a Crafty Crusher back for another video. Um, this is episode 88. I have a lot of finished, a lot of finished objects to show you tonight. I do not have any whips because I didn't, I finished all of them. Um, so before we want to get, before we get started, I want to say, excuse me, that it is 11.30 p.m. I just finished something for a kid, but I'm a little girl. I'm not sure. I need to change it somehow. Um, I don't like the one thing that I made on it. It is 11.30 p.m. tonight. It is the 15th of September already. We are already halfway through um, September, I guess. I also want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to my 414 subscribers. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys keep coming back and I keep getting more subscribers. So, let's get into it because I have a lot. Okay. So, I did that. I did that wrong. I wrote down all of my finished objects as whips, and they're not. They're finished. So, basically, I have a lot of the same stuff. I have a lot of hats, I have a lot of scarves, and I have one pair of mittens. So, this is a hat. It's for a little kid, a little boy or a little girl. I love how it patterned. So, there's one. And this is for a newborn. I um, am still making newborn hats. I need to gather up all the ones that I've made at my mom's. And I also made some to go to all of my other charities. And I have one pair of completed mittens. So I have one pair of that, or one pair of those, and this is some of the um, yarn that I got from my brother's friend's mom. Um, it's the orange and the purple with some of my hair crocheted in it. I made this scarf. Which get back so you can kind of see the lattice pattern, I guess. And it's you know long enough to wrap around all of my scarves that I've been making. I've made them long enough to where you can either wear them like this, or you can wrap them around one or once or twice. And this is just like a double V stitch so that's the one I literally have a whole bag over here that my finished objects are in um, here's another one I've had this one done for a couple weeks now but I forgot it at my mom's so it's my butterfly shawl well one of them and I used a five and a half millimeter hook for this. I can take that off now. But it's just in the mainstays green. So I finished that one. And this is my bag that I finished in the last two weeks. I know I didn't do a podcast last week. That's because I didn't feel good and my path was sick. Um, I also have another, and this is just in the V-stitch, another scarf. So, yeah, and it's folded in half. I also made my own, my own stitch pattern, I guess and this one 
So I don't know if you can see that very good, but I had my stitch dictionary up there, and I didn't like any of the stitches in there. I'm like, why know the basics so I can figure something out? Let's see, but there we go. So I did purple, yellow, and then I did a longer of this color, and then I did yellow, and then I ended with purple again. And I did the same thing on this one. I kind of just made up my own stitch pattern on that one. And this one I did nine rows in a bunch of different colors. Same thing with this one. I did, I think, 14 rows of different colors. And this one is just a V-stitch. If you watch my podcast, you know I love the V-stitch. It's one of my favorite stitches. I have another baby hat. This is impeccable tropical tropical fruit variegated. And I love how it patterned. Another little baby hat. I wasn't really sure these colors went together. Um, it's big, no, it's impeccable red and lemon yellow, Red Heart Super Saver. Because I have yarn here, but I also have yarn that I keep at my mom's in case I get bored with the stuff that I have. Then I made, I used up a whole skein of this yarn. It is Red Heart with Love, I think. Fruit Punch Sparkle. It has the sparkly red thread through it, and I like how it patterned. It will fit an adult, even if you have a ponytail on. I used up a whole cake of this, which I'm guessing is a whole skein. Then I ha I made this hat, and I used up the rest of this purple, or this pink tone yarn that I had. So I used all of it up with some of my hair in it. I also made a pet mat because we still haven't taken up our my pet mats because my pet's been sick every other every week. So I also made this hat for a little kid, I think. I made it pretty short. It'll fit the top of my head, but I made it too short, so it's for a little kid. I also made this little this little beanie. So as you know, we are supposed to go on vacation. Um, next Thursday we leave. Um, but if my pap doesn't get feeling better, we probably we won't go. Um, came home yesterday. And he was sitting on his chair and he had thrown up all over himself and every time he moved he got dizzy and lightheaded and threw up. So we had to go to the um, Dollar General and get him some Dramamine which is for motion sickness. And that helped settle his stomach and we got him some Pedialyte. Um, so I made another beanie baby beanie. I like how this one patterned. It's pretty cool. So, pray that he, you know, gets feeling better. This is turquoise. I also have one more. I'm not done yet, but I want to show you um, this project that I finished because I made my cousin, her birthday is on the 28th of this month, and I wanted it to get to her sooner, so I dropped it off. Can you see that? No. Alright. Let me try to brighten it up a little bit. It's a Snoopy scarf. I got the pattern off of, um... I got the pattern off of Ravelry, 
And here's another. I have like a lot of scarves in here. So this is another scarf. This is the Purple Impressions Variegated. So I, I made one out. I made a couple out of that. I the next ones. I had three skeins, and I was able to get I think three scarfs out of it. This is just a regular, my favorite V stitch, and it's tropical storm or tropical fruit. So another one. And here's another one. I love how this one patterned. It's really cool. You got stripes and then an X down here. And then you got different stripes here. Then you got different ones here. And then it did like an X pattern down here. So I thought, and that was in the V stitch also. I got more baby hats. I was on the baby hat kick, so I got another one in the purple impressions. I got one in turquoise. And I got one in royal mainstays. And this one also patterned pretty cool. How it like starts here and then does different patterning and then down here and then different. Yeah. And now we are, I'm going to show you the hat that I made for one of my, um, my grandma's co-workers. She, he has a little niece and she's obsessed, I guess, with this, um, this Pablo character from Backyardigans, I guess. I have no idea. And he wanted me to make a hat for her. Well, I made the hat, did the eyes, and I was trying to figure out how I could do the, like, little yellow thing. Let me show you. The little... Alright, I'm trying to get the picture. If I can, of the yellow thing. Okay, won't well, let me. So, the little thing on the top of the head, it's supposed to be yellow and blue. Well, do you think I could find a pattern for this hat anywhere? The answer is no. I've looked on Ravelry. I've looked on Pinterest. I've looked on YouTube. I looked everywhere and cannot find a pattern for this. So, I made it. I'm not liking this. This right here. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I think I am going to take this off, take the red thing off, because the red thing's fine, and just do this again, but with, like, a shorter thing. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, so this is the Pablo hat, and I am not happy with the little yellow and blue thing. So, I'm going to take it off, and I am going to redo it. So, um, my, so let's get into, and of course it doesn't matter, is it? So, I got, is it? No, it's not good. So I got, like, I, I don't know if I told you guys this, but my aunt, when they came up from Florida, gave me a $50, um, like, Visa card from Walmart, or, like, a gift card from Walmart. So there was things that I've been wanting on Amazon, 
and I figured, well, look, I got this $50 card, let me just order some of the books that I've been wanting. Because there was a lot of crochet books on there that I've been wanting for a while. So I got this one. Adorable Amigurumi. Cute and quirky crochet critters. And it is by Tuttle Aaron Clark. I got it used. That's the reason why it's a little banged up. But I simply don't really don't really mind. Um so here's just some of the things. Like there's a there's a monkey, there is a dachshund, and there's some um what are they called? Cyclops. And then on the back there is there's a dragon, a dragonfly, a bat, um, in a cyclops, a dust bunny, another cyclops, and a little yeti. And these are, I would look through it, and some of them are a little more advanced. Like here's a whole mess of them together. There's a lion, there's a toucan, there's a giraffe. Some of the patterns in here are, I think, a little bit over my level. Um, the thing that I'm not, not really used to is, like, making eyelids and putting them over things. I've never done that before. Um... But there's definitely ones in here that I am definitely going to be making. Like the little Cyclops I think is adorable. And I want to make the little Yeti. Um, so there's definitely going to be ones that I've made in here. I also ordered... I don't know where they are. Hang on a minute. Over there. Sorry. So, as you know, I have been looking, and well, okay, here's, here's another thing. So, I also ordered googly eyes, but they have eye colored eyelashes on them. And it turns out I already had some, but I wanted some more. So, my question to you guys is, is I'm going to be using some of these googly eyes for, like, the little octopuses and narwhals and things. So, my question is, would... Fabri-Tac glue be a good glue to use for um, those animagurumis? Or should I get something else that's like a little more sturdier? Or what? And then I went to Michael's because I just wanted to go. We were over that way and I haven't been there in a while so I wanted to go. And in my last, one of my last videos, I mentioned that I couldn't find number beads. I was looking everywhere. I ordered, so my mom ordered me some off Wish, and that was like back in January, February, and I never made it. Well, I was walking, I was, me and her were walking through, um, like the perler beads and the pony bead aisle, and I found number beads. Now, I've been looking for number beads because I make stitch markers that have my hook size on them for my different projects. If I'm working on a big project like my shawls or my blankets or whatever. So I got two of them and there's 340 of them in each pack and these were six dollars each. But I figured since I can't find them I would just get them. Well, then we went to Walmart. 
Okay, let me tell you everything I got at Michael's. I also got some yarn at Michael's. So, in a corset. So I've been wanting to try this um, Karen Kindness. And I've been seeing it on other people's podcasts, and I was like, oh, I want to try that. So, while we were at Michael's, um, I looked at the colors, and I found two of them that I really, really liked. So, I got this one. It's blues and greens, and this is Ocean Barg, and it is a medium four. It is a machine washable and dryable. It's 100% polyester. It is 6.3 ounces, 178 grams, 310 yards, and 283 meters. Um, so that should be enough to make a good size shawl, or not shawl, or scarf. And I'll use maybe two, maybe I'll make two scarves out of this. But yeah, it's really pretty. It has like dark blue, light blue, and a green through it. So I thought that one was pretty. I also got this one, and this one has seen seen some better days. And this one is called Blue Ribbon Barg. And the same amount of information. And while I was there, I seen... I don't know if you guys remember, but you jet sent me a package of some Never Enough Craft Smart Yarn. And they're the big skeins, the 601 yards. And they had these at Michael's. I got all variegated, of course. But they had these ones at Michael's for $5. So you got 601 yards for $5. So I got this color here. And it is called Purple Fuchsia. And the lot number is 1937. So that's that one. It has like different purples, pinks, and yellow in it. And then I got this one. And it is just called Black, White, and Gray. Lot number 1996. That looks like this one. And I got this crazy, it looks like a bunch of fruit. And it's just called Pink and Coral. Lot number nine, 1991. Hey, my birth year. So I got that one. And the other one I got, I'm pretty sure you jet got me. It, it It is the turquoise mint. And these are two of my favorite colors. And the lot number is 1939. So then we went to Walmart. And I was like... Okay, I don't know if I have jump rings, and I don't. I know I don't have enough lobster clasps. But when I got home, I found three packs of lobster clasps, and these ones only have eight pieces in them. And I wanted something different than my jump rings, so I got some little split rings. And I got two packages. Okay, this is this is funny. So. They had two double pack, a value pack of lobster clasps. One was for like 25 and one was for 33 They were the same exact price. They were each $3.94 at Walmart. So, I got the 33 piece. So, I got two of them. Yeah, I didn't mean to do it that way, but... So yeah, I got two sets, I got two, Jesus, 
What is it with me today? So yeah, I have a lot of lobster class now. Um, so yeah, that is all of the stuff that I have to show for today. Um, I will try to do put all of my links in the description box. Um, I will put like everywhere where you can find me. I also have a thread or something on Ravelry that you can ask me anything. I only have one question there. So if you want to, you can go over and ask me a question. It can be anything. It can be about life or anything like that. I do want to answer, um, somebody sent me a message on YouTube a while ago, and I didn't get back to them yet. They asked me, um, what my favorite shawl pattern was. My favorite shawl pattern is by Tea Time Crochet, but sadly, her, um, pattern, pattern, her shawl patterns are no longer available here on YouTube. She has them over on her Patreon account. Um, so if you want need if you want the pattern, you should go over there and get the pattern and stuff because I, I, I that was my favorite shawl pattern. Thank God I remembered it because she has another pattern that is mostly some kind of similar to it's just like a one row difference. So, I have that one memorized, too. So, go over, give her some um, love on her Patreon account, because I really do love her shawl patterns. Um, I do still have two more books on the way from Amazon. I The only problem is, is I cannot track them, because they are from the UK, and they are shipped from a third party. So, I guess when they come, they come because I can't track them any other way. So, that's nerve wracking because I don't know where my packages, package is. So, I'm going to let you guys go. It's a lo little longer than I thought it would be. Um, hopefully, pray for my path that he gets feeling better before Thursday so we can actually go on our vacation. Um, he was feeling a little bit better today, but he was so dizzy. It's like, he feels like crap for like five or six days, and then he, he's good for like, like three days, and then, then he's sick again. Like, when we came home on Friday, it was a mess. He threw up all over himself and all over the floor and his clothes, and yeah, it was pretty bad. So, I am going to go. I keep saying that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. It really doesn't bother me. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I can do with that Pablo hat, please let me know. Um, I can't seem to find anything for like a vertical. I don't even know if it is a vertical stripe thing. I just kind of made it up on my own, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink that a little bit so that it's not so tall, or I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out, though. I always do. Um, so, that's it for today, and I hope you guys have a great week, and have a happy day. Bye.